Hey guys, Target Recycle and FPD, and I have got to work on a Mavic right now. So I've tried to clean up the bench a little bit, kind of keep some organization here, because when you work on one of these, you really got to make sure you've got everything put together properly and organized. So I'm going to use this case here, and I think I should have my permanent marker somewhere around here, but I think somebody may have taken it to use it for something. So hang tight one second, that's the only thing I'm missing. Here it is. <clears throat> Permanent marker, we're gonna be replacing the cable, the camera, the gimbal uh, area. So we're gonna number these as zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. If we need more than that, we're gonna deal with that in a little bit. What we're gonna start is, we've got to open this up get to uh, let's get the, let's get the battery out of here okay so the reason we're numbering these is we're going to keep everything in order and so what we're going to do is we're going to start first uh, let me see uh, start right here all right so here we go been a long time it's been a while since I opened one of these up so I may have to refresh myself a little bit but again now we're gonna start and we're gonna use our bin here so we're gonna take these screws out those will go in the bin you know the first thing that we take out so that when we put it back together we basically go back backwards so there's one two That first set, see, so that first bin where one is, the reason I put a zero here is because these actually fell out of the drone. Usually just start with one, but because these fell out, this is still gonna be my last step. So uh, this is my first removing of the screws, so when we go backwards, that'll be the last step. These won't really be a part of this because these little rubber uh, <clears throat> dampeners will be already on the gimbal when we get to that point. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, what I'm going to do next here is we're going to flip this over. We're going to come over into here, and I'm going to take this piece off. This will go into two. Okay, that goes into two. Uh, these will go into three, right here. All right, now let me see what we're working with here.
There we go. So we've got to the main area of it. Okay. Now, our main focus is going to be this area here because we have to remove the uh, cables and we also need to, let me make sure that I can get this out without having too much problem. Okay, so let me just explain to you where we're at here. So these Phillips screwdrivers, or these Phillips uh, head screws will be next. I believe we'll go for those next. So let me just try to basically release the, so this will go into number four. Put this into four. And then we'll go here for five. be able to see some movement here so we want to go ahead and pop these off one there's two and that would be six we'll go seven with this Dampener. I think I'll be able to get this angle in here, so hold on one second. So let me just make sure that we can. Ribbon out. So now we can just pull this wire. 
Good. Now we can just work on the camera, all right? So first thing we want to do is we want to check to see if any of the threads here, any of these wires are severed and they don't look to be. This actually looks to be pretty intact. Let me just check this out. Okay, so what we had, the problem is right here. All right, so I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna work on replacing this ribbon. And this is kind of the pain in the butt of the whole thing right here. All right, but the rest of this, I think this cable is actually gonna be okay. for the light. All right. So now we have to pay close attention. So let me take this off. This will go into slot number eight. This is what our bin looks like right now, by the way. Stay organized, right? Now, obviously with this piece in here, you can't close it, took my lens out. You can't close this, but the idea is you keep it like that. Now, if you wanted to close it, you just take this out, you know, it goes in eight. But basically, so far, we're going backwards. This way, we're gonna get back to closing it out. This is gonna be, this is the part that kinda, this is the tedious part of the whole thing, is right here. So, as long as this cable is good, which it doesn't look like it's gonna be, the next thing we have to do is get back and wind all the rest of this ribbon back on here. This is a pain in the butt. Okay, so, and, and you have to remember, this has to, that cable has to go through like this. Okay, not like this, but it has to go through like that. So, it's kind of crazy how it goes because that's where it snaps off. So, this is going to be glued on right here. So, you're going to lift that up. And what you're looking at there is this here. Okay, because this is going to come up, and so this is going to break away to the side, and it's going to fold over. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure we find our pattern here. So see how this is, if you look here, it's kind of, I'm going to try to show it to you, it kind of comes out, let's get it like this, All right? and then the rest of this goes down. Well, the problem is once we take this piece off, so it's basically got some self-adhesive that you have to turn around. Now here's where you have to keep track of the screws really closely. So this is gonna go into spot number nine. Nine. And the other one goes to nine. And there goes that, okay? So now if you see this ribbon, here is the first point. So what you see is this piece flip back over, okay? And this 
just like that will connect up to here. Okay, so we're going to carefully lift this part up. I hate this part of the work because it's such a tiny spot to work in. Most important thing, put the wire, I'm gonna need this again, put the wire immediately where it goes. Put the ribbon. As soon as you take one piece off, put the other one on. If not, you're gonna mess it up, you're gonna put it in the wrong spot, you're not gonna wrap the wire right. And they've got this, uh, you know, this uh, liquid electric tape here. And this is a pain in the ass because you have to get around this. So I'm gonna try to scoop out what I can, if it'll come off. I don't want it to get in the way of the cable when I try to put the new cable on. But if I can't get any of it off easily, then I'll just work around it as best as I can. And you can, you know, you just get a couple pieces off, it'll be good. Let me just see. Okay. We'll be okay there. Let's see. All right, looks like we got that cable in good. So now you have to get the adhesive because don't forget, you have to have this flip back, okay? So you need this to stick and you're gonna peel that adhesive back because it's gotta stay very close to the surface here. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this, remove that layer so we can stick this down, okay? And you're gonna stick it down just, uh, let me see, just like this. Perfect. And then you're gonna fold it right here, okay? Just like that. All right, and that's how it has to go. Now, All right, now, from here,
next step, we're going to unscrew this spot here. So when this cable comes down, it goes around. And then as you can see, like this one would, it's gonna take its place. So it's going to adhesive right here, right? So it's gonna come down where the old wire was and it's going to take its spot right here, okay? And you can see where this one will go to eight. There we go. Okay, so look at the ribbon. Okay, comes down to here. This is the old wire. This is the new wire. Basically tra tracing the exact same pattern. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna peel up here. There's that adhesive that needs to come off. Okay, so we're gonna peel that back. Now, when you do that, you're going to have the short connection, which is right there. And then this piece is going to go all the way in and wrap around, as you can see here. So we're going to kind of, kind of move this slowly out of the way. But let's, first things first, let's go ahead and pop this off here. Remember, we have all this gooey, like liquid electric tape, basically, and it gets in the way. So try to peel it out if you can. Just remember, you don't want to damage the pins. That this camera plugs into. Go. Now we've got to make some room for this. You can see how they double it back. Okay. So what we want to do is still got to clear some of this black. But that might be enough. So. With the new one, we're gonna we're gonna mimic exactly what we're seeing here. This is gonna bend, okay. And this piece has to go in. So if I was to show you what this looks like, I'm gonna try to pull it through. But here, let me spread this cable apart so you can get an idea. Okay, this cable is the same as this cable. And what they do is they bend it and they send this one down to the bottom here, okay? So this is gonna come up.
Perfect. Okay. So we're going to pull this out. All right. Now, we're going to take this cable here, the long part. Gonna run down. This will come around. The adhesive will peel right here. Just like that. And replace it right where it needs to go, right there. And hopefully, if you can line it up right, it's going to be a little bit of a pain. So that's it, and that adhesive will stick right there. And this ribbon will ride along here. This will stay closed right here, just like that. back on right now. Okay, now this is where the tricky part comes in is uh, there's our cable that goes out. This cable comes around. And this will stick right in here. Let me just get this to snap it, and then I can remove the adhesive. 
this little cable right here can kind of get in the way sometimes, so just push it out of the way a little bit. Try to take the adhesive off. Let's take this down because we should be done. Just gotta take this little piece of adhesive off right here. It's giving me the worst. Getting up a fight. There we go. Adhesive is off. So now we can just get our cable to sit down here like this Who's up? What's up, dude? Are you on live? Uh, no, I'm I'm making a video, but no, I'm not on live right now. What's going on, dude? I just, I just played with my friend. Huh? I was just playing with my friend. Did you win? Mm -mm, we haven't won yet. Because so you need your dad to be playing. That's what's up. Yeah. How you been, man? You having fun with your friends? Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. You ready for a new fishing pole to come in? I can't wait. Yeah, it'd be cool. I'm excited for you, man. I'm glad that you and your brother are doing that together. Yeah. Isn't that great to have some good time like that? Yeah. Some, some kind of bonding time, you know, just you and him? Yeah. I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's so much fun, too. Yes, sir. And me, I'm doing this nerd crap right now. You're not a nerd. I'm not a nerd, thank you. I still do nerd crap. This is nerd crap. But it's fun. Not really. But it's fun. Not really. Like, I want to say it's fun, but then my mind won't let me lie. <laughs> uh, you playing some more Fortnite? Yes, sir. All right, will you go kick some butt? Yes, sir. <coughs> Love you, bud. <coughs> you all right? <coughs> yes, sir. Yeah, it sounds like it. 
Be careful. Yes, I love you. Love you. All right. Now that we got that done, you can see here our gimbal is ready to go. Our ribbon is red. Okay, we got full movement. So that's good. See? Okay, now, now that that's done, we have got to get this piece, okay? So this piece here, there's the old cables. So remember that this has to go through here, just like that, okay? That it sits over like this. So this is why if you see it broken, it's because when you put too much flex on this, it'll, it'll tear it. Anyways, let me just go ahead and put this on real quick. Okay, and that screws in these two screws. Now we're going backwards, okay? So now we're at the point where we're starting to reassemble the, the, the drone. So we're going to go backwards now. So now we're in slot number eight. We're going to grab that. Put these screws in. And be careful when you're doing this not to pinch that ribbon wire. Or else you'll be doing the whole wire again. The whole ribbon again, I mean. So there's no sense in cranking it out hard or trying to do anything crazy. You're basically using this to hold everything in place. So make sure your ribbon, I'm not even going to tighten that. I don't like the way that's sitting right now. So I'm going to leave it a little loose so I can straighten the wire out. Here goes screw number two. Once I get both screws in, then I can deal with it. Okay, I don't want to tighten it down yet. I want to just make sure that my ribbon cable has enough room to do everything I need it to do without being flexed so much that it breaks. Okay, so let me just make sure that's the case and I think that actually looks pretty decent so from here I will tighten it down now there we go okay so now you can see that when this will hang it will give all the room of the wire to go and that looks pretty good I think that's gonna work just fine okay so now, the other portion of this was that these pieces fell off, and these are your dampeners, okay? So, while this housing is sitting here, I can go ahead and work to get these back in. So, let me do that real quick. Let's see if I can, I hope I can, well, you know what? I may not be able to do it with this board on here. Let me, now, I'm not going to put, I'm going to put this right here because I'm not intending to go very far at all with this. I just need to get these screws out. It's three screws. So I'm gonna lay it just like that. There's the three screws. I think that should do it. Yeah, there it goes. And I'm gonna lay that like that. This way I can work with these dampers, putting these dampers back in. So this is where the problem was. And this is what we're gonna fix first. I guess on impact, these broke. Uh, that's not the right way to go has to be turned like this. So they go at this angle, this 45 degree angle. So now I should be able to get this to go. Hold on. And there's one, and then we got one more. That'll go right here.
kind of can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. So just be patient. I don't have the patience. I also don't have skinny fingers, which makes it even worse. There we go. Oof, it's a pain in the butt. But all right. Got the dampener in. Okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead and might as well put this back on. Let's go ahead and put this back on. It goes right here like this. These screws go back in place. this bag out of the way. So remember, here's the quad, right? So this is what we were working with. So you want to look and see how this is going to fit in here. Okay, and that's how it's going to go. So you can put the camera in. I'll take these glasses off in a minute because it's not like I need them for much more. But what you remember is that Don't forget that these uh, these rubber pieces here, these dampeners, have to go on here, right? So you're going to need to get these on and get them situated, just like that. There's one. There we go. So now we have our camera and our gimbal ready. Okay. So what we know is that this piece, right, is going to go right here. And we can put that on right now. 
And we can also put this piece on right now. So let's go ahead and snap this plug on first. Let's go ahead and snap this on. Excellent. Okay, and now we can see we have full movement. All the ribbons are in place. Okay, good. Now it's time to bring in, then I cannot wear this anymore. Ooh, man. I was hoping this tape would keep my solder pad from sliding, but it doesn't. All right, anyways, let's get everything out of the way. There's our old cable, by the way. So we'll put that over here. Now we need to bring in our drone, okay? And one of the things we need to do now is we need to get this drone seated, backed up, get this piece seated. And so we've got to bring the white cable back through here just like we did when we took it apart so let me just kind of get that one in there there it is turn the gimbal around bring this up like that and get ready to refasten everything okay all right so So there we go. Now, uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead. We're going to take these two pieces, these two screws. Uh, where did I put them? My screwdriver oh, here is. Let's do this so we can start getting everything kind of mounted in place. Okay, once you get one screw in, you can kind of let up a little bit. All right, and what we need to do now is we need to look here because this, I put this on and I need to make sure that that ribbon is right and this one is not sitting flat. We need it to sit flat. Okay, so let me just, here we go. It's easier to see it from this angle, there we go. Now we could screw this down. Okay, 
There we go. Take the second screw here. We'll bolt this other side. Right here. Excellent. Now, we're going to go ahead and put back our sensor. There we go. There's one. We'll put back the other one. There we go. There's two. I'm going to snap these ones. Make sure that we get them in properly. Give me a little bit of a hassle, so bear with me. There we go. Take our white cable, put that in, and last but not least, there we go. And that is the one lonely screw sitting right here. So now we've got everything put back in, all the, all the sensors are plugged back in. Our camera is now on there without, you know, dangling like crazy. Now, whether it's going to work or not, if there's any other damage, we don't know until we finish this part. But I just want to make sure that all these are on properly. And it does, it looks like they're on perfect, okay? So, let's see where we're at now. All right, sensors are in, the board is in. Floats are in. Check and check. Last of the screws are in. So, I believe, let me check, we've got those, we've got these. Make sure, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. So let's go ahead and put the plate back on here. There we go. So if you look at our bin, what we have left, 
Remember, we have one, two, three. So we're on to bin three and we're going backwards, three, two, one. So that is going here, just like this. Then, we're, I'm going to move this out of the way, then we're going to bin 2, which has these plastic pieces here. Okay. And we've got four screws for that section. Too small, too big. And to be honest with you, I cannot remember. Uh, I'm going to guess that the big one's going here. Watch, I mean, no, I'm pretty sure that should be right. Yeah, the longer ones will go into the body. The smaller ones will hold those pieces in place. Let's put this one here. Okay. And now it's just a matter of remembering. Uh, I think this goes like this. Nope. Let me see. Maybe like that. There we go. Put one small screw in there. Now, as much as I'm excited that this is coming to an end and I'm happy that everything looks good, the downside is that, again, we won't know the damage. We don't know if everything works. So we could be doing this all day long and still not get anywhere. But we're hoping. We're crossing our fingers, right? So there we go. Now, the rest of it is these last bit of screws, which is bin number one. And those all go in the spots that you would guess. So one, two, Let's pay attention here, you have, you see, everything here, so we'll just go here. One, and then the two. Then five. Then six. And we have no screws left. Our bin is empty. I'll show you that, okay? Here's our bin. Nothing left. Finished. Now, test is with the battery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go close the door because if my dog hears this, my dog is petrified and drunk. And she's sleeping in the room next door. Okay, there we go, the door's closed. Now, let's just turn it on and see how the gimbal moves. I mean, you guys won't be able to see that necessarily, but I will. And you'll have to take my word for it. So, let me give me a dead battery. Oh, come on, this. All right, well, I think somebody else just dropped a Bavik off. And there, you have a live battery, I hope. So let me go grab that. So I'm hoping that I can find one. Come on, let's hope this one works. Well, this one has batteries. How about this? Well, it's good enough. Let's see what happens. There we go. Uh, 
guess the battery didn't have any power left. Wonderful, it's getting better by the minute. Okay, let's try a different one. Come on, people. Got another one over here. No, not much better, but we'll see. I see the camera moving. Now this is kind of creepy because that may have worked. Holy moly, you gotta be kidding me right off the bat. Let's see. Okay, so here's the remote. Let me guess, is this at least charged? Hopefully. I mean, come on, man. God darn. I'm all excited, but God darn. Give me something that's charged, please. <sighs> now I gotta figure out what the heck this guy's using. Well, it's not charged, but I will tell you this. This camera is perfectly straight right now. Looks like it's in the right position. You think you guys can get me to cable or something that works with this thing? I'm not asking for much, but come on. Sheesh. That battery's about to die. So, looks like I'm gonna be charging this. have a cable for an iPhone with this. This guy can give me the cables. Come on. All right, I tell you what, I'm gonna plug this in, okay? So we can get the controller charged up. I don't know if it'll turn on. I hope, nasty stuff. Yuck. I will plug in the battery to charge, a battery to charge. I'll plug in the controller. Is this what you, I remember doing that. No, 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 no. Okay, the battery's at 2%. So now let's get an iPhone cable. Let's go to our drone apps. I don't know which one it is. Maybe it's DJI Go. Let me see. No. Let me see. Can I find a... Okay, so it's not that one. DJI Go 4. It's not that. I need a Mavic. Alright, which the hell, which is the one? Nope. Which is the one? Okay, not that one, not that one. I don't think it's the Fly app. Well, let me see. Uh, which app? 
to use with Mavic Pro. I cannot remember. Mavic Pro, DJ Go 4. Well, I thought I tried that. Let me go get a cable. <clears throat> well, I've got one right here. And let's see if we can make this work. Here it goes. I have 0%, so I doubt I'm going to see anything happen. Wonderful. Well, at least let me see if I can do it. I go for Oh, one percent. Heck, I don't want to do that crap. Have a crow, there we go. Oh my gosh, look guys. And there you go. Look at that. We got our we got our camera. We have look, see that? Look at that. We got it working. How exciting. Let's see what it says. Now it says that we have a vision system error. Uh, we need to calibrate ESC overall status. Forward left vision sensor. Forward right vision sensor. Let me see. Okay. So actually I don't want to start the update. I can check the sensors. That's not an issue. We can always go back and check those. But the main thing is, the good thing is, that we got our, well, we do have other issues though. Uh, it says forward right, but forward division says ESC, restart aircraft, contact DJI. Okay, so I'm gonna power it off. Okay. The good news is we got the camera, the gimbal, I mean, everything to work. That means the cable and the installation, which is the hardest part, is done. Now, what is concerning is the fact that it does seem like, wait for the camera to come around. There it is. All right. All right. So. Yeah, yeah, be quiet. Vision system error. Okay, and we have an ESC issue, which, depending on how this thing got banged around, uh, might not be too big of an issue. And what I can tell you is, we fixed. Hey, yeah, yeah, stop talking. Right, we got a low battery error too, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to power this down. Okay, and I'm going to power this down. I'm going to tell you right now that, all right guys, so look, I mean, so here's what we accomplished, right? And this took an hour and 10 minutes to do, but we took the old camera out. I mean, we took the camera out, took the old ribbon. These are pieces from it, these little things. Took the old ribbon out. Um replace the ribbon, uh, put everything back in, and it powers up, the camera's working, we're getting signal. Now, uh, is it possible there's some other damage on here? Without a doubt, it's, it's quite possible. We're gonna find out though, okay? But, <coughs> excuse me, but as far as this, <coughs> as far as the work being done here, this is a complete success, and I'm extremely happy to see where we got with this because it's the, the wires and the ribbon cables are so small, and they're so delicate that you know, sometimes, and that's why I keep a few extra ribbons on hand. You'll see, I, 
I pulled three of them out to do this job because sometimes you'll tear one by accident or do whatever. But as far as this goes, this, went, this couldn't have gone any better as far as getting the work done. Now, I've got to let things charge here because there's no update done. This thing looks like it had been, I don't know if it was crashed recently or what, but it definitely has updates and some other work that needs to be done. So I'm gonna end up working on it and I'll do a part two of this video. But as far as part one goes, with regard to changing the camera, you guys saw firsthand, we plugged in the phone, we got video and everything, so that repair portion is done and it went well. Now I'm gonna let this charge, do some updates. I'll start a new video on this one, so we'll go for part two, but this will be part one and it's done. Extremely happy with this, guys. All right, so look, uh, all the best I can do, most I can ask you is please subscribe to my channel uh, and, and pass it around, let your friends, family, whoever, whether you're DJI, Autel, Parrot, or custom drones like we do or anything. Uh, I do it all here, okay? And I'm back at home, thankfully, and I got my boys here, and so I love being here, and I'm ready to work till all hours of the morning now that I'm back with my family here instead of having to be at the shop, okay? So God bless, guys. Be safe. Go spend time with your family. Most of all, guys, uh, make, uh, yeah, go spend time with them, and, and don't worry about all this drone stuff. You can always do that later. Your family won't always be around, so go make the most of it while you can. God bless, guys. Talk to you soon. Peace.